Hi, Ben here from Trout and Fly Fishing, and I've got with me today the all-new Sage Salt R8. This is Sage's latest and greatest all-around saltwater fly rod, and I'm really excited to check it out. So this new Salt R8 replaces the Salt HD in Sage's lineup. It's going to range from a 6 weight all the way to at least a 13 weight. And if I'm being really honest, the Salt HD never resonated with me. It's a little bit too heavy, a little bit too fast. I don't know, it just didn't really do it for me. In our initial testing, this rod is totally different. If it's anything like its R8 cousin, it's gonna be a lot softer, a lot more manageable, and I'm hoping a lot lighter. And as an added bonus today, instead of our usual target testing, we're actually down here in Central Florida at Osceola Outback to put a few fish on this rod as well. So we'll be able to tell you how it fights a fish in addition to how it casts. Now before we get out and cast it, let's start like we always do by showing you some of the components on this great new fly rod. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. This Salt R8 is still a sage and you're gonna see most of the same build quality that we've been seeing for decades at this point. We've got a nice fighting butt, double up locking reel seat, this reel seat here is a little bit different than we've seen in the past, but not materially so. They've printed that nice eight here, anodized aluminum, and that flows into Sage's great full wells grip. Again, we've been impressed with Sage handles for years and years. And then we've got this nice sort of dark grayish, bluish, tealish blank. It's really a handsome rod, nice wraps. As we go up the rod, you'll notice one slight difference is that they've added these sort of upturned guides. And the idea behind that is to produce less friction as the line passes through. Other manufacturers have been doing it for years. Now Sage has started to do it as well. Then of course, hard chrome snake guides going up the rod to the tip. Now it's time to get it out on the water and in the field and see how it performs. So starting at our first saltwater distance of 40 feet, you really notice how much softer and smoother and more progressive this rod is than the old Salt HD. It's just a much more fun rod to cast in close. Great rod for those tailing bonefish and any other in close shot. As we stepped back to 60 feet, it was also really accurate. And I just noticed how smooth the rod was. It was, just great to cast, still able to hit that target very, very often. And I really just enjoy the difference in feel between the Salt R8 and some of the other Sage rods that I've cast in the past. This one is just quite a bit better, quite a bit more dialed for those flats fishing situations, yet it's got a bit of range and overall just a really fun rod to cast. Unfortunately, once we stepped back to 80 feet, I was a little bit tired from our day of fishing. I kept looking for that reserve power that every Sage is supposed to have, and when I really wanted it for those extra long shots, it wasn't quite there and just didn't have quite the accuracy with an SA Bonefish line. Certainly, if you switched over to a lighter, perhaps longer headed line, maybe a Rio Bonefish, you'd probably get that added power for those longer shots. If you're looking for a saltwater rod that's hyper accurate at short to middle distances, and overall just has a great smooth feel, look no further than the new Salt R8. If you're looking for a rod that's gonna pound really long casts all day, a rod that's extra, extra lightweight, this rod might not be the rod for you. With that said, this is a vast improvement over the old Salt HD. It's a great fish fighter, and I'm really excited to check out how all the other line weights cast. Now it's time to give the Salt R8 our Poseidon score. Starting with accuracy, the Salt R8 is really good in close and just a pleasure to cast at 40 and 60 feet. At the 80 foot distance, I was looking for more power and it just didn't have quite enough accuracy to hit the target consistently. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Up next is components and it's standard Sage componentry, albeit with slightly upgraded stripping guides and it earns a 7 out of 10. 
In terms of distance and power, this rod is good but not great, and it earns a 7.5 out of 10. The grip, as you know, Sage makes some of our favorite grips, and it earns a perfect 10 out of 10. In terms of looks and workmanship, the Salt R8 is a fantastically built rod right here in the USA. You're getting a very high quality product, and it earns a 9 out of 10. In terms of swing weight, this Salt R8 comes in at about 82 gram meters squared, which is light for a Sage, but not light in the overall world of eight weights. Rods these days are coming in at 75-ish or lower gram meters squared, and if you cast them side by side, like we did today, you can really feel the difference. This is a light rod for a Sage, but not a light rod in the world of fly rods, and therefore it earns a seven out of 10. In terms of value, the new Salt R8 comes in at $1,100 and is the most expensive production Sage today. And it's really hard to say that this is a great value, but Sage will continue to build parts for this rod for decades to come. And they have one of the best warranties in the business. So if you find a rod that you really like, like this Salt R8, you're gonna be able to keep it as long as you'd like. And I suppose that is something on the value scale. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. And last but not least is the cool factor. And this is 100% the coolest rod of 2023. Of course, it's only been a week. All things considered, this is still a brand new Sage. This is gonna be the hot rod of the year, most likely, and it earns a nine out of 10. And that adds up to a total Poseidon score of 66 out of 80, which honestly feels a little bit low. This is actually a really great rod, but it just lost too many points in terms of swing weight and value to crack into that 70 plus mark of really, truly amazing rods. Tell us what you think about this Salt R8 by leaving us a comment in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because 2023 is gonna have some amazing rod reviews. If you've got questions about this new Salt R8 or any saltwater fly rod, give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. And don't forget that this Salt R8, as well as the entire lineup of Salt R8 rods, is in stock and available with free second-day air shipping from tridentflyfishing.com. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.